What is an interplanetary magnetic field line? In other words, IMF, that I refer to a lot. <clears throat> There's another person that wants to confuse the IMF with Jeebus on toast. Now, the solar wind uh, carries it through the solar system. The solar wind, the sun. Out amongst the planets, we call the sun's magnet field the interplanetary magnet field, or the IMF. All right, so it's the sun that causes the IMF. It is not Earth's magnet doing that. So all this blue stuff is from the sun. Blue, IMF, interplanetary magnetic field. Notice we've got a big bunch of it behind us. Our sun's on this side, just for the record. Now, this action that she's doing right now, you can see it, it uh, the volume of energy she's sucking in off of the bow shot is what you're looking at right here. Let me see if I can't magnify it just for people that might have poor vision or something. I don't know. Um, anyways, I know I have problems seeing sometimes. Especially if I've been blowing glass all day. See where it's dipping in from the bow shock here into the accretion disk of her magnet? That's how an electron magnet makes itself stronger. Or the guy at the fucking junkyard makes the magnet stronger by pushing the fucking lever and increasing the electric flow through the magnet. And you can see that's clearly what's going on here. That means the magnet is getting stronger, not weaker. Y'all keep listening to these fucking government paid fucking liars. Like, oh, I don't know, Ben Davidson. And uh, I believe Earth's magnet field is getting weaker. And it's not. She's stronger than ever. These closed field lines are <laughs> amazingly strong. Now, do we have crunch on the atmosphere? Or in the ionosphere? On the fucking planet? On the magnetosphere? Yep! Just a little bit. And we've gone over the Schumann frequency spiking. Let me, let me tell you a little something. It's spiking right now. I can tell you that for sure. Because there's only one reason. Well, two, actually. Uh, the Schumann frequency would ever rise, and that would be to compress our atmosphere or increase the speed of light exponentially. Um, that hasn't happened. I'm, I'm here to tell you right now, the speed of light is still the constant that it always has been. The ionosphere, however, she's catching hell from obvious outside sources. This is nothing possible to be generated from the inside of the goddamn planet or on the surface of the planet. You can't put pressure on the outside of the planet from the surface of the planet. You can't do it. It's not HARP causing this. It's not CERN causing this. Obviously. We have another sun behind us. This is Homebrew's channel. Notice it's the same ISWA, right? There are blue IMF lines very evidently coming from behind our planet, twirling around, making the eye, the conical hat, and the dingly cobra that somebody saw before. Magnet signatures do not change. They will remain the same throughout the magnet's life. Suns live a long time. We were documenting the returns of these suns, the red and the blue. Now, 
the IMF line has nothing to do with the color of the sun, <laughs> but this is the blue sun. And this happened in the CME behind the Earth. As you can see, a blowout from a sun behind us. That isn't something I made. That showed up on a billion dollar fucking magnetometer. And you can tell it's going on today. It continues. And the fires are worse than they were two days ago when I made my last update. Everywhere across the globe in your goddamn backyard. Hmm. Imagine that. And these same fucking storms that we keep talking about for the last year and a half are still in the same spot. And they're bigger and stronger. They've destroyed the crops in China. India stopped exporting rice. Your food is running low. How many days in a row we had sixes? Quite a few. A couple years ago, Shepard Ambellis um, used to be uh, Alex Jones's producer. He uh, came out to the house and interviewed me for Shackled to Silence, uh, a documentary on what's going on here. And uh, on that documentary, very publicly, well before there were multiple fives and sixes going on, I said there will be multiple fives and sixes going on real soon because the sun that tilted us is closer than the day it tilted us. I had somebody say uh, this morning, I guess, on Facebook. Let's check that. So I've got trolls all over the place. What do you say about the fact that Eric already uh, claimed the apocalypse should have happened already? Uh, or that the uh, Nibiru Prophecy's original date was 2012? First off, uh, I hadn't spoken to Senator Jim Davis about this subject until 2014 when I was told very clearly uh, three quarters of the population has to die to keep us safe in the bunker that they offered Seamus and I. And uh, I didn't like it, so I came out and uh, started warning people. And as a result, um, I've got a whole troop of people running around the internet fucking trying to make a fool of it somehow. Uh, one guy, uh, we know he stays on semantics. He loves semantics. He loves it when I mispronounce a word. Um, cause that's the best they got on. Everything I tell you has been vetted, homework done and proven. Um, we've got working models of how the solar system works, uh, perpetual motion, uh, the Sora Apophis. Does the, uh, um, yeah, it's a tough one to say in the thesaurus. Pops. <laughs> it's that easy. Anyways, um, <laughs> God, this is, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, um, I never knew the government had planned to kill everybody until 2014 anyways so that's what I'm getting at all these fucking trolls are just amazingly bad at what they do <laughs> even everybody NASA everybody admits the earth's axis has shifted recently they just announced this Everybody, everybody on the planet, except for scientific media, understands that shifting Earth's axis makes the moon do new tricks. 
because the moon's path and the wax and wane of the moon has always been because of the orbit of the moon and the spin of the planet. The spin of the planet and the direction we spin very much dictates what the moon does in our sky. If we tilt our axis, it does new tricks. It's doing new tricks. That's all I've ever said. And every day I wake up to some kind of debunking video uh, because I mispronounced a word. You're fucking kidding me. Lives, real people's lives in real time are being lost every day because people are walking around ignorant of the fact. And you actually have somebody out here trying to murder people with lies. And you want to judge me for fighting online. I'm standing up for the truth. If you can't understand that, then you are definitely on the wrong fucking page. You need to go find someone else to look at. Because I will defend the truth until my last breath. And I will do it in a fucking clear, decisive manner. Now, if you can prove everybody on this goddamn page wrong, popular mechanics, NASA, everybody, then you prove me wrong. The moon isn't doing new tricks. But if everybody here's right, I don't care if it's moved one inch. The moon is doing something it hasn't done for thousands of fucking years. It's doing new tricks. It's a sign in your sky that man has no control over. I don't give a fuck if they blame you for the fucking melting glaciers. That is not your car doing that. Regardless of what they say is the reason. They say it happened, period. Therefore, the moon is doing new tricks. Another thing I have warned you about is the food. Lots of food problems this year. Lots of food problems this year. I certainly hope you haven't been listening scientifically just because the crop of corn that's across the street from him is doing well does not mean the rest of the world shares that fucking benefit the crops have been dying and the food supply has been getting shorter and shorter since I started spotting it and warning you about it it's kind of like hot spots Oh, those are just hot spots. No, they're real fire. Some people are actually losing their homes and their lives over them. Just like a real food shortage, people are starving to fucking death. I hope you've saved beans and rice like I've been screaming for the last three years. Get your beans and rice together because we're coming to a head on the food crisis. There's going to be a food shortage. I said this three fucking years ago, and I showed you why, and I had scientifically to this day say, no, that's not true. <clears throat> I hope you understand a little clearer. This isn't an argument between Lee and I. Lee is paid to lie about everything and anything I say 